Hey, I'm Wesley Higgins from Birmingham, Alabama. And this is the Alabama Power Building. I, I actually work here on the third floor. That's amazing. And so this building was built when? Uh, the original building was built in 1925. This model I built back in 2008, I believe. Okay. And it was before modular really kicked off. And so it's one piece, which I, I really hate. You know, I've got to go back and do this as a modular build. but Easier to uh, transport. It's a all lot that's easier to transport as modular. But um, that was before I knew about that style. And, and so I just built it as a solid piece. Now, uh, talk a little bit about the history of the real building itself. So uh, Alabama Power, I'm assuming, would be a power company? That's right. It's an electric <laughs> utility that's been around for about 107 years now. Okay. Um, and they used to be Birmingham Traction and Light Company, so a lot, a lot of different things. They used to sell steam to people. Okay. You know, and, um, but uh, we, we've been generating power for 106, 107 years. And then in the 1920s, they'd grown enough to, to size to build a corporate headquarters. So it's a 13-floor building, um, and it has Electra on the top. It's a golden statue that is uh, like the goddess of electricity. And then on the front, it has the statues of heat, light, and power. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, and so building this, uh, what was your biggest challenge? I know every build seems to have maybe a sticky portion. Right. For me, it was being new. You know, I'd come out of my dark ages, and so I was just getting back into building it. And I was like, I really want to do the building that I build in, that I, that I work in, because I like how it, the architecture of it is. And the biggest challenge was the walls on it, because I, I was so new to building like this. I had trouble with the windows collapsing on me, so I had to go back and do some reinforcements in those. And then the roof was real tricky because I'd never done an, an angled roof and, and getting the lines just right. Um, so I, I think those were the two challenging parts for me. Now, sourcing elements for a building of this scale typically will be a challenge. I know BrickLink yes. and the Lego store are always a good option. Or is there any particular great source of pieces? Like how about these windows, for instance? Yeah, the windows were the, one of the trickiest ones I had to get. They were available on the pick-a-brick wall in New York City. <laughs> And so there was a guy that uh, I had contacted about them, and he went to the store and bought me two pup, two big old cups of them and shipped them to me. So that, that one was the biggest one. And then some of the monochrome uh, statues, I think I had to do some searching back then to get the right parts for those. Sure, sure. Well, a beautiful build. Wesley, uh, thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you. I enjoyed it.